difficulties going on over here. The Wi-Fi decided to be funny with us as soon as we logged on. Let's see if we're good. Mia's checking for us. Charlie's at the front and center. <laughs> <laughs> She's a cat. She's not a cow. She says meow. <laughs> All right, if you're watching, let's see. Okay, we're gonna check in with our friend, Andrea. Cross on the other, we're good? Yep. Oh my gosh, we're good. Thank goodness, okay. So the Wi-Fi decided just like five minutes ago to say, we're sorry. We don't want you to have your fun fall Facebook Live. So, but Charlie has her cat outfit going on. We didn't get too crazy this year, for this Facebook Live, but we're gonna have some fun, right? And we're gonna eat because we are all really hungry. So thank you for joining us. Your sound is good. Sound is good. Oh, goodness, we have sound. You can see us. Yeah. I'm okay. Good, now just smile. <laughs> all right, thank you guys for joining us today. Um, we are live, but if you're watching on the replay, hello to you as well. Please leave us some comments and we'll be sure to respond. Today we are talking about Publix and sharing some of our awesome recipes from our new e-cookbook, which is free, free digital download. Um, so someone will probably post a link in the comments. Um, we also are going to show off some of the signs that you can find in public stores. And if you see those, you can scan for the cookbook as well. What are you excited to try today? Everything. <laughs> We're going to get some more smiles out of Charlie, I think, once she starts eating. Because everybody just got home from school. And Mia's helping us out over there. Um, so yeah, so this is our Produce for Kids camp campaign that's taking place at Publix right now. We have some amazing sponsors. We're going to talk through all of these great companies that you'll find in the produce department. And these companies are giving $85,000 to Feeding America food banks in the Publix market area, which is, happens to be our market area, we actually have spent some time volunteering at Second Harvest of Orlando, right? That's super fun. They do great work, and we're really excited to be able to make an impact um, in that way in the public's market. So, all right, we're going to jump in. Do we want to read off sponsors, or do we want to go through as we talk about all of our treats? Let's go through. Do you want to read them? We're gonna as go we talk about oh, Okay. <laughs> All right, let's see what we have up first here. You were busy, Mia made these. So we did, yeah, now you get to finally try these. So mangoes, and we dipped in the melted chocolate, which, pro tip, get the bag that says, what does it say, melting? They're like melted wafers instead of chocolate chips. Yeah, don't. I mean, you could do chocolate chips if you're an expert, not like me. I ask these two, do I like melted chocolate? No. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she can have one. So, oh, hey, GT's, welcome. Oh, we have some, we have something fun to show you guys with the GT's products too. So these are mangoes, Coast Tropical mangoes. Oh, wow. Good. And you, and you're not a big mango fan, but you're mm -hmm. a chocolate and sprinkles fan, so. Hey, get these for the kids. So um, Mia dipped these in chocolate and sprinkles, and I think that's self-explanatory there. And, ooh. Sorry. <laughs> that fell off. That fell off. That's okay. We're gonna, we can make a mess here. But you'll see the sign in the public stores. This is a tiny one, but if you see this sign, it also has the recipe on there, and you can find it in the cookbook too, but it's pretty simple. All right, I'm going to take a bite here. It does matter. Mmm. It's really good. Maybe. What do you think, Mia? I like it. I probably put too many sprinkles. <laughs> <laughs> too many sprinkles? Yeah. I don't know if you can ever have too many sprinkles. All right. We were going to ask a question. What was it? Oh, what's everyone being for Halloween? Mm -hmm. Right? What are you going to be? I'm going to be a cowgirl with my friends. And that might change again tomorrow. Are we good? Yeah, I went through a lot of different choices. 
but cowgirl it is. What about you, Mia? What are you going to be? Um, I'm not completely sure yet, but... <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to be? Um, I thought about being someone from the Barbie movie. I don't know if that's going to be predictable. That'll probably be like a popular costume. I like weird Barbie. She's fun. Um, I don't know. I guess I'm, I'm telling you guys time is ticking and I don't even know myself. Wow. All right. Let's move. To, oh, guess what you get. So these are our Sunset Angel Sweets and... Charlie was not a tomato person until she came upon these. And now I, they're actually BOGO this week at Publix. Um, so check those out. And if you're like us, she just takes, walks around with the, this container and chows down on those. They're delicious. Yeah. So, all right. Awesome. So we talked about our Coast Tropical Mangoes. You're going to be snacking on these Sunset Angel Sweets. Um... This is like way over here. Sorry, we only have one camera angle today. I keep thinking I have sunglasses on my head, but I'm a unicorn. Oh, you want to show those. Okay, go ahead. Because you want to eat those. <laughs> so we have a lot of apple partners or apples to showcase today. Um, so these are good. You can and you can talk about how to make them too, because that's your deal. Oh, right now. Yeah. Okay. So. You need apples, peanut butter, <laughs> and marshmallows. And you just take two apple slices, put peanut butter in the middle, leave yeah. space, and then put marshmallows. Yeah. It's delicious. So these apples were from Rainier Fruit. So, you, I mean, you're welcome to go ahead with those. And also, yeah. oh, yeah, there's two. Do you want yeah, one? Okay. You're good? Yeah. Um, we wanted to talk about our Del Monte pineapple. Mia, you got a snack over here. I know. <laughs> We're forcing Mia. What are costumes? Is, any, or is anyone commenting with their costumes? Um, Lydia Dietz. What, what are they going to dress us? Lydia Dietz. Oh, from, from Beetle. Oh, that's a good one. It's my favorite movie. I song. thought you were saying the person yeah. commenting was Lydia. <laughs> yeah. It's been a long day. All right, so we had our apples we gave mia her del monte pineapples let's talk about this is in the cookbook and this was really fun to make right yep. <laughs> so we use the puff pastry shell we have ico asparagus and let me tell you about these eyeballs i feel like we put these eyeballs on everything no don't you think is that what you were gonna say mia yeah like you just Yeah, I got some at Publix, but I think these came from Amazon, but you can probably find them anywhere. Yes. Yeah, so. Um, okay, so that is actually in the cookbook as well. I'm going to show off some of this signage now that we're like. So you're going to look in your public store. You're going to look for signs. They might look like this. We have some that look like this. Actually, our Ico partner, Asparagus. And when you scan... The QR code, it takes you straight to our e-cookbook, which I just happen to have pulled up here. Someone so. said the kids are roasting up as gremlins in a mine. Oh, I like that. I think people are going vintage, like we're going back. Like Beetlejuice is kind of, oh no, but they're coming out with a new Beetlejuice movie, right? Really? Are they? If you're watching, confirm. <laughs> Leslie said she's dressed up as Beetlejuice. Oh, I didn't even know that. That's a great costume. Just kidding. That's a great costume. I wanted to dress the dogs as Beetlejuice. Uh, okay. Oh, I saw on my mom's phone the other day dog costumes, and it was the alligator Loki from the <laughs> TV series. <laughs> These are the things that you find on my phone. <laughs> How about oh, a pumpkin? Oh my goodness. Oh, we're really all over the place today, but if you're just tuning in, we're talking all about these awesome Publix produce partners. This is a gigantic public, pu Publix pumpkin that Charlie picked out today. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> it was my favorite one there. She did. This morning before school, she picked out this pumpkin, and it's really heavy. 
which is good because that's going to last us through um, through Halloween. So let's talk about our village farms. Um, Heavenly Villaggio San Marzano tomatoes. We use these on these. I love these non breads. Charlie likes to dip these, but they are perfect for making pizzas and everybody likes different toppings on pizzas. I know our family, we kind of feud about when we're out at a pizza place, what we want to add. You have almost eaten that whole container. So this is a great way for having kids over for Halloween that they can make their own personal pizzas with these Village Farms tomatoes. Charlie, I put that out if you want to make one. I have these, cute, look how cute these cups are. I found them at Michael's and I know you think I'm hilarious, right? In that way. <laughs> She's laughing at me. Um, yeah, we did that for Mia's birthday last year. We had a make your own pizza and we had all kinds of ingredients sitting out and it was wonderful. Everybody got to make what they wanted and get creative. I forgot about that. That was fun. See? I wasn't was invited. Oh, that's not true. You were here. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this is going to be dinner. So choose yeah. wisely with your um, decisions there. And also you, don't also, you don't have to put sauce on it if you don't want to. Yeah. Like I'm just saying, like, yeah. if you want to just put, like, a base of, like, olive oil down. Yeah. Uh, we get creative. If you don't like sauce. So let's see. I don't want to skip out on anybody here. While you're making those pizzas, Charlie, we did some fun things with our mandarins today. We put these bats. Thank you. Um, we do a lot of the pumpkins usually if we have celery. You can just slide the celery right in. That's super easy, and the kids really, really love that. So I like that yeah. pumpkin that you did right there. Mia did that. I like it. So these are wonderful halos. We have these them on a big bag over here. And Mia, I have some a lot of basil growing out back. So instead of celery, Mia just put a little piece of basil in there, which That's is super cute. cute. Yeah, it is. It looks cute. really cute. Charlie, do you want to tell a joke? I'll let, I'll let you tell her joke. I monster Hard dogs. Okay, so here's here's your joke. What's a vampire's favorite fruit? Da, 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 da. What is it? Anyone have a guess? Any takers? <laughs> Nec nectarines. Neck, get it? And then I have one more. Oh no. One more. I'm nervous. If you have Halloween jokes, put them in the comments. If Leslie's on here, she's going to have all the Halloween jokes, I can assure you. So she might, she might just uh, take over the feed there. The next one is, what do you get when you drop a pumpkin? I don't know. What do you get? Squash. Oh, wow. I need, like, you guys to, I need some, like, laughter. The like the, oh, the sound machine. I don't know where oh, it is. Rip the sound machine. Oh, the sound. <laughs> Let's see. Where's our laughter? We'll do an applause. Oh. oh no, is it dying? Oh, we need well, new batteries in the applause. sound machine. Oh, no, that's really sad. All right. Well, long live sound machine. Okay. I, you guys are really going to be excited about this next. We have some apple and cheese pairings, is which will be posted in the it is. And so Mia and Charlie, these are, my neighbor bought me these super cute little boards. So these are like little cheese and apple pairing boards. So um, Rebecca or Andrea, whoever, if you can post the cheese and apple pairings in the comments, that would be amazing. We have a joke. Oh, we have a joke. What is it? Why do mummies have no friends on Halloween? Why? Oh. Because they're too wrapped up in themselves. <laughs> Who was that from, Leslie? Okay. Here you go, Mia. Have some cheese. You need to tell us. And Charlie loves goat cheese, so she is pairing her jazz cheese. her jazz apples over here with um with her goat cheese. She'll go on flatbread too. Apples and goat cheese. 
Yeah, really good. Hmm. So, um, okay, I'm gonna, can I come over here on the other side of you? We have this awesome taco salad going on. This is so easy to make. I used Fresh Express um, lettuce on the bottom. We have some Tostitos. And then we have this Nasoya plant-spired um, steak. So they're steak nachos, which are gonna be amazing for dinner. We sprinkled some cheese. And then we have our avocados, our uh, Mission Produce avocados. So we're using a lot of these if you wanna add these guys to your, to your shopping cart. Oh, and Marie's, they have this creamy Chipotle ranch that I felt like if I, I always have a hard time opening. Oh, but if you want to open that, I felt like we could just drizzle on top, right? And yes. that would be perfect, um, perfect for drizzling. So we yeah. do have, are you gonna, we, Mia, can you open it with your nails maybe? Oh, Mia okay. has longer nails than, than we do. So we also have the GTs, which GTs, you guys are on the, on with us today. So we were gonna do a root beer float with this. So, okay, let's make sure I didn't shake it up too much. So this is root beer, ancient mushroom elixir. So I did not, I gotta grab the ice cream out. Root beer? Yeah. Oh. I know, are you excited? Oh, I can smell the root beer. So we can do, I can never open this. Do you wanna try one, Mia? Yes, I do. <laughs> Mia's not a big fan of mushrooms, but oh, like mushrooms let's see. We're gonna. Let's do a little bit. And I, open this, so. I think. See, here's the same thing with mangoes. We added the chocolate and sprinkles, and then you were good. Okay, but that's different. It's a mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> Mia can spot a mushroom a mile away, but hey. Okay. I love GTs. So. But she. That is so true. Mia has been a GTs fan. From the beginning, and I've just brought you metal or whatever. This doesn't means. matter. I'm gonna give these to you two. Maybe we can just share. I'm gonna get all some ice cream here. If one of you guys want this, this is what I'm getting. Oh, yeah. Do you want to drizzle that on there, Charlie? Yeah. The so okay, you to thank, you to me. Yep. thank you, Mia. No. All right, if you if anyone else has any fun Halloween like tips or tricks or treats that you make something fun, post it in the comments. We have a, a super cute video of Andrea, who works at Healthy Family Project, her daughter, Avalon, trying the um, root beer float also. So she's over on our Instagram dressed up, super cute. Look at my skills. Good job. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna be feasting here. Feast. I've never had a root beer float before. Well, really? Yeah. My grandma used to make me root beer floats. I feel like I've done you wrong. <laughs> well, now you get one, a GT's root beer float. All right, we're gonna take this one over. Oh, Andrea did tell me that was gonna. Okay. Well, you want the ice cream to be down There's in it. That one too. Here, do you want this one, Mia? No, it's okay. Call from Mama. Oh, oh. That was you. <laughs> All right. So try that out, and everything's better with ice cream. So, oh wow, good. So I'm trying to think, I think we talked about everybody here. We have our red and tasty tomatoes. That pro, was really good. Pro tip, oh I'm gonna try it. Pro tip on the tomatoes, always, don't refrigerate your tomatoes, please. Leave them out on the counter, that's how they should be. Ooh. That's good. I like it. Really good. Um, yeah, so leave your tips. Definitely check out our free ebook that has all of these recipes in there. They're super simple. Um, yeah, uh, we were trying to play some Halloween music, but also Alexa was against us. But that's okay because we get to eat all of this delicious food. And, and now mom's gonna sing for us. No, I am not gonna do that, but nice try. <laughs> that, was, that was a really nice try. Um, yeah, so please 
when you're in the what what did I what are you laughing about? We thought you were gonna sing Monster Mash for us. Oh no, I'm not gonna sing. I I won't make you guys suffer through that. I could you're, dance you're though. A good singer. But uh, show us the thriller. Amanda Keeper is a great singer. Broadway tunes are my thing. Um, so anyway, okay, so Publix. Head to your local Publix. Pick up these amazing products. Add them to your shopping cart. Know that you're supporting your local community. And check out the ebook so you can make these recipes at home. And have a wonderful Halloween if you're in the Halloween spirit or celebrating the fall season. And we'll see you next time on our next Facebook Live. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs> I think Mia has to, to press us off. Yes, I do. All right, what are we going to eat here?